Hi, in this video, I will show you how to use the Konica Minolta CL200A. So right off the box, you will see this couple of items. On the left, I have the body, the CL200A body. This is the receptor here. This could be the cap for the receptor here. Uh, two sets of batteries and the case. So to get started, what we will do is um, to take this receptor here and connect it into the body. There's only one way in. Just like that, and you'll hear a snap. Uh, next, we would actually put in the batteries. We will remove this compartment and place the batteries as such. This cap is a strap. It will not be attached to this by default, so you would have to attach this. And the carrying case would be to store the equipment as such. There is a small compartment over here to store the battery. Moving on to using the equipment. On this side, you have the on off switch followed by the hold key. I will get to the hold key later. And this button will allow you to detach the head from the body. And on this side, you have a input for USB cable. Uh, DC in power, which is power plug, and also a digital output port. So on to using it, first thing you do is switch it on. We did it, um, there will be a sign saying Cal, and once you remove the measuring head, it will start taking measurements. And this measurements is continuous measurements, so you notice that. And then if I cap it, it will go to zero. So the top measurement shows you the lux. EV is the lux. And if you'd like to stop the measurement, just press the hold button. It will pause the measurement. And when you unfold the measurement, the measurement will continue again. So over here on the display, we have the lux value as well as the X and Y color space, CIE X and Y color space. Um, to look at different values, you just have to click mode. The EV is still there, but we have U prime, V prime color space. Pressing the mode once again would give us the dominant wavelength and the purity. So this light currently is at 540 nanometer with a purity of 8%. Clicking mode again will give us capital XYZ, which is the raw which is the raw data of color. And clicking mode once again will channel back to X and Y. If you are interested to know about the color temperature, then press the TCT button. And this will show you the lux followed by the color temperature and the delta UV. Yeah. Uh, this is pretty much the uh, all you need to know about the CL200A measurement. So, on terms of application, we would bring the CL200A directly under the light source and press hold, stop the measurement, and record the measurement. And uh, next on, unfold the measurement, change it to a different light source, or bring it to a different location, and the measurement continues. For storage purpose, um, start by turning off the instrument, placing the cap over the instrument, and then removing the batteries. For long term storage, I do not recommend keeping the batteries inside as it may cause battery leak. 
then after you could start it into the equipment case and that's about it i hope this helps you to get started with using the cl208 thank you